ignore the uh, custy, rusty everything. <coughs> Here's the new sway bar end link. Here's the old one. Filming on my iPhone because my camera's upstairs, but that's how much shorter this one is. And it's actually quite a bit thicker as well, so it might make a difference as well in handling. Um, that's this side done. I'm probably going to time lapse the other side so that you can actually see what I do, but it's quite easy, really. This is just a must. Put me in perspective. I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now. We know I ain't balling yet. Hoes wanna holler. Oh no, I don't call them back. Girl, let me see you. Hold it down. This one was rounded off, so I couldn't put anything in it to stop it, so. I had to uh, drill it out. This is the sound of confidence. So, um, this what I haven't bolted both of them. Well, I haven't gotten both the bolts off. But obviously, there's a lot of stress on the sway bar still. So, what you want to do is put a jack under the hub just so that it lifts the whole thing up and it'll get rid of all the tension. So, this will basically drop off. So, I'm going to do that now. So, I just saw in that time lapse, I, uh, jacked it up and got this off I actually that was already like that I had to uh, cut it to um, try and get vice grips behind it to stop it from moving before I ended up drilling it out but um, now it's time to fit the new one which is over there so I'll do a time-lapse of fitting that it's just leave it tensioned while you're putting the new one in just because it's a lot easier that way um, so yeah I'm gonna do the other one now Fully in, tighten down now. Rock solid. So, I'm gonna lower this back down. 